here on it. Um, when I bring him in here, he's going to search each one of these boxes. There's two types of ways that a dog can alert on a box. Or alert, period. One is called an aggressive alert. And what that means is when the dog finds what he's looking for, he's going to scratch at it, he's going to claw at it, he's going to bite at it, he's going to try to just rip it apart so he can get what he wants. It's called aggressive. Um, the second way is called passive alert. That's what our dogs are trained to do. And basically what that means is he'll sniff, he'll sniff, he'll sniff, and when he finds it, he's going to sit down, he's going to stare at it, and he ain't going to move. He's going to wait for one or two things to happen. He's going to wait for his tennis ball to come, or he's going to wait for me to grab by his neck and tell him, good job, good boy, and pull him off, and, and you know, make him understand that I'm real, real happy. No, no. Shepherds, Malamoids, different types of shepherds, um, one hounds, things like that. You guess what my sheep moved in this right there. All right? I see so. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, boy. See what I mean? I didn't even give him a command. He came right in and saw boxes and went right to work. And I look at him like, where did you get that at? Probably because the Jewish in it. Somebody else. Yes. We decided to have uh, Chief Sinkowski and the Chester Police Department come out and give his canine pr presentation because I had the opportunity of seeing them in the park. They did presentations throughout the summer. And every Tuesday night here at the studio, we do offer free classes to the community for health and wellness, for living better, doing good, and this is part of it. And if we can get the word out to more parents, we might be able to make a difference. Um, again, you know, Chief Sankowski said that the drugs are here, they're here to stay. We can't get rid of them, but we can be more aware of it and make, it, make somewhat of a difference for our kids. I'm a parent, I have four children, and I am lucky enough to say my children are surviving this crisis. Um, but we had something we all have to fight together. On behalf of Eastwood Studios, um, we're doing these little paw prints that are going across our front window. I'm asking for donations that we could present to um, the Chester Police Department by maybe the end of December. You can make a $5 donation, a dollar donation, and I think we might have to buy a few tennis balls because he did pop that one tennis ball that he was playing with in there. But it's a donation to the police department for the canine unit so we can help enforce this. Uh, statistically, 98% of parents say they've talked to their children about drugs, however, only 27% of teens say they're learning anything substantial about the risk of drug, uses, drug, drug use at home. As parents, our primary goal, hopefully we never have to reach a point where we have to intervene in our child's drug use. Once we've reached that point, it's too late, we already know the signs, we've seen it, we know what's going on, we see the paraphernalia, we've seen the activity decrease in the grades, the changing of the friends, the disinterest in activities, and so on. At that point, your best bet is treatment and intervention. Our goal as a police department and our other goal as parents is to educate and prevent our children, children from ever having started this in the first place. It's very important as parents that we realize that our goal is to protect our children and even us as parents even farther, us as police don't know everything that's out there. I will say that it is your job as a parent to be nosy. Know who your kids' friends are. Validate where your kids are at when they say they're there. Meet the people that they're hanging around with. Check their Facebook accounts. Know their passwords for their phones. Look at their texts. Read their texts. Check who's calling them. Be nosy. Your kids won't like it. Too often we want to be friends to our kids. We want to be the cool parents. But that doesn't always get our children through life safely. Kids, good and bad, make mistakes. Make bad choices. The biggest problem they all face is peer pressure. Know who your kids are hanging around with. Talk to them. Don't be afraid to talk to them. Educate yourself. There are plenty, of, plenty of websites out there um, that talk about what's going on, what might be out there. As police officers, as police departments, we are severely under um, 
this stuff comes out before we even know about it. Parents are generally our front line as to what goes on, what is out there. Synthetic drugs. Synthetic drugs are, are making a huge proliferation in this area. The problem with synthetic drugs is, again, we don't even know what's out there. And even when those drugs are labeled to be illegal or made to be illegal, uh, the people that, the bad guys that make them, change them. Uh, because what's illegal in those synthetic drugs are the chemicals that make them, that uh, get the kids high, get people high. Always, always, always worry about where your kids are at. Worry about what your kids are doing. Worry about who your kids are with. Leave no stone unturned. We're finding drugs hidden in lipstick containers. We're finding them in pop containers. We're finding them in deodorant sticks. If in doubt, check. Your kids are your future, and they're our future to our town. Uh, be good parents. Thank you.